That footage is gonna be so demasculinizing, if that's the right word. It's not the right word, I can tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sick game is this? All right, keep those eyes closed. I can see him, I see you No, I'm not. Stay still, you're gonna feel something a little creepy though. No, okay? don't do it. Go ahead, open it up. No, don't oh, do it, no! No! Guys, there's gonna be so much footage like this through the entire video. So don't get squeamish on me and just enjoy watching me suffer. You'll oftentimes hear me recommend to people that they should step outside of their comfort zone. They should face their fears. And I only say that because I see the tremendous spiritual and mental benefits in doing so. Now, you know that I talk the talk, but you've never really seen me walk the walk. So I partnered with Kissimmee, Florida, who I've worked with in the past, and they were happy to let me visit them one more time and face my biggest fears. Let's go for a ride. Sorry, I have to interrupt. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be conquering all sorts of fears, but I did develop one fear in the middle of this trip, and that's goats. Goats! <laughs> Let's start off with one of my biggest fears, and that's my fear of heights. I think this has something partially to do with the fear of the unexpected, maybe even the fear of losing control. So if I'm at the edge of a building or I'm on the tip of a bridge, and even though it's unlikely that I'm gonna fall off, I still have this horrible vertigo and sense of doom. When Kissimmee told me that one of the things that's available for me to do out there is to fly a World War II plane, I was not so excited to do that. To say it lightly, I was very scared. All right, come on up. Right foot on the step. Step to the middle of the seat. First thing we're gonna do is put your parachute on. Have you ever skydived? I have not. Well, and I, today I, might be your lucky day. Here's, here's this. This lever right here will release you. At that point, if you're not thrown clear, dive out the right side, if you have a choice, and two rides for the price of one. The parachute is automatic, it'll open by itself. If for any reason the parachute doesn't work, just bring it back. We'll get a few more in the shed, so you just pick a different color. <laughs> and one last thing. the little white plastic bag that you're not gonna use unless one of these characters bribe me is right over here. Any questions? So this way, just yeah, this exactly. way, okay. And then you just swan dive out to the right. <laughs> I'm Good. ready to not do that. And then the guns? Yeah, right here. How do we start shooting those? All right, so I was initially really excited about this and now I'm not so excited about this because there's a feeling in the pit of my stomach that I will describe as a butterfly because I don't want to say anything inappropriate on camera. There we go, welcome aboard. Okay. So bring the microphone real close to your mouth so you hear yourself just as loud as you hear me, okay? Yes, sir. So you say you've never been behind the controls before, huh? I have not, sir. Okay, well I have. Hope that helps. I'm all about putting myself outside of my comfort zone. Well, I think you're doing it. We are airborne. Landing gear is coming Woo! up. And I'm coming back on the power. All right, so we're gonna proceed on course and teach you how to fly. Not only do you go up with the pilot, the pilot teaches you how to fly. All right, get out of the airplane. Uh, <laughs> All you, I'm not touching a thing back here. get over your fears is through exposure. I am officially a pilot, he hated it. but not really. You slowly expose yourself to whatever it is that you're scared of so that you become knowledgeable about it, you experience it, and then you realize all of these uh, unrealistic fears that you've attached to this, whatever it is, an animal, uh, uh, fear of flying, heights, is not realistic. And the fear doesn't need to be there. If I conquered that fear, 
Anyone can conquer that fear. Oh my God, what an amazing experience. Next up is something you wouldn't expect. Oh Lord, way to go. Agents on my phone. We be on the road like we on the boat. Being someone that's an athlete and is someone that's pretty good at sports, I don't like feeling incompetent when doing something physical. I've never played golf in my life. I had to show you that I too can feel uncomfortable and that can be a really good thing. Ready to do a little sum sum. Come on. Notice that your hands. Okay, that wasn't so bad for a first swing on camera. At least it's straightened out. Oh no! Where'd it go? So I'm inside the bunker, but that's part of my plan. I don't want to make this easy. Yeah, delete the footage. Ah! Oh, that was sad. That's my first hole. Thank you, sir. Two holes in par! Yeah! In society, we're always trying to move away from feeling uncomfortable. And while that's sometimes a good thing, sometimes it's not a good thing. Because being comfortable for too long can carry its own consequences. When you feel comfortable for too long, you don't take risks. You don't feel empowered to reach your goals. So by learning a new sport, by experiencing something new, that's actually a good thing. Short-term stress is amazing for your mind. I've said before that knowing yourself is one of the keys to living a good life. The only way you can truly know yourself is through exposure. How would you ever know if you're passionate about a game like golf unless you've played it? Now what I want you to take away from this is that you sometimes need to feel uncomfortable in order to succeed. Come on, Pearl. Come on, come here. Come on. Pearl, we're sorry we bothered you. <laughs> <laughs> you come closer, you don't have to be that far, come on. I don't know, she looks rather agile for her size. She is agile, very agile. <laughs> Now, one of the major attractions in Kissimmee, Florida is Gatorland. It's a fun place where they have a thousand, maybe even 2,000 gators. And you can do zip lining there, which I've done and had an incredible time. You can feed the gators. You can touch some of the gators. I actually ended up touching uh, an albino gator, which is one of the rarest types of gators in the world. After hanging out with all the gators, feeding the gators, they said, Mike, come back um, to this little area that we have. It's a special area. And they walked me to this little shed. I was thinking he's going to give me a little baby gator to hold. Not a big deal. I'm not so afraid of gators, especially when they're babies. I hold my hand open. Go ahead, open it up. No, don't oh, do it. No, no. It's not that bad. <laughs> Is it poisonous? They're venomous, but their venom's like an amp bite. It's oh, very soft. You can barely feel them on you. Yeah, I could barely feel him on me. Oh yes, my god. Yes, there we god. go. And they only bite when you like poke around. All right, don't do that. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is a Chilean rosy hair tarantula. Oh, a Chilean, is he from Chile? Yes. Oh, a Chilean, is he from Chile? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. You want to play games? What's the other option? You want to play games? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm trying to wonder, is he from Chile? Should I speak Spanish to help calm his nerves? Or should I just stay silent and frozen? And it really gave me the heebie-jeebies. I'm not even a guy that's really scared of spiders. I'm not an arachnophobe. Then my lovely videographer, Dan Owens, decides to whisper in our animal expert's ear that I'm definitely afraid of scorpions. Oh You're my You're God, fine. why fine. is he doing that? He's afraid of heights, he's on the ground. Is he, is he, did, should I turn just, my hand? Yeah, you can turn with him. Oh my God, oh when my they God. they the arm, they see your vein, so that's what they want to Why do you have kidding. to do that? <laughs> why, I, I'm already facing a very large fear of mine. My biggest fear, was sitting on the palm of my hand looking directly at me. The trainer told me that uh, what I should be worried about was the claws and not so much uh, the, what is this, the, the tail? Since they were kind enough to show me that they had a Chilean tarantula and that they had this amazing scorpion and I overcame those fears, they said, we have a little bit special surprise for you. Okay. You ready? 
There we go. What, what, right what, your what, what, give me some explanation. This is an albino vermin's python. I figure okay. the less you know, the better. They won't do anything at all. Okay, they won't do anything? Nope. You promise? I promise. But, I probably shouldn't promise that, but... Why is he moving? Is it a he or she? Or do they not have sexes? Why There's is she no. contracting around my neck? She's balls. holding on like you're a big tree right now. I'm glad he's single, because I'm going to climb that like a tree. Dr. Max adventures in the wild. Look at that. <laughs> A cheeky little thing. <laughs> I just met you and you're already Say hi to all the YouTubers. We as a society love to just shower people with fake self-esteem, artificial self-esteem. The only way you get self-esteem that actually matters and has that has an impact on you is if you earn that. And the way you earn self-esteem is by going through challenges. Short-term stress is good for you. And the more times you can go through short-term stress and come out on the other end successful, or maybe even come out the other end failing but learning something in the process, that's how you boost your self-esteem. And that's the kind of self-esteem that counts. The most important point that I want you to take from this video is that when you're creating your to-do list, instead of thinking about what you wanna do, I want you to think about what you're afraid to do and do that. As always, stay happy and healthy. Oh my God, it's so close to my face. It's, okay. it's, it's kind of like okay. the skink. Remember you <laughs> touched the skink, it's just a... Uh, Plane, thank you for getting me home safely. I love you. You know what they say, go big or go home. Say what's up to YouTube, Pox. Say what's up to YouTube. Say follow Dr. Mike. You got it, yeah, good job. Good job. Say follow Dr. Mike.